Neoliberalism's rise in the 1970s UK was accompanied by another set of ideas, which was called Neo Conservatism. Its principal British philosopher was Roger Scruton, who died in 2020. Conservatives in the 1970s were worried about a host of post war economic problems, which reached their peak under Labour PM Callaghan in the 1979 Winter of Discontent. Inflation was sky high, unemployment was rising, strikes by trade unions cut off power. Not only that, but it was felt people's morals were declining, with a young disobeying authority, an increasingly sexualized society, and homosexuality. Abortion was more of an American gripe. The nation seemed increasingly ungovernable, and socialist militancy exacerbated this. The state had to improve law and order. When Margaret Thatcher won the 1979 election, she enhanced police's stop and search powers, for example. She was also more willing than Callaghan and former One Nation Conservative PM Ted Heath to confront unruly trade unions, as in the 1984 miners' strike. Internationally, the UK was described as the sick man of Europe, in contrast to the rapidly growing economies like Greece and Spain. Growing sectarian violence in Northern Ireland, sex scandals, economic chaos, and the loss of all colonies damaged our standing. Neoconservatives wanted a strong state, which influenced the decision to take back the Falklands and upgrade our nuclear arsenal to deter the USSR. Agnosticism increased post-war because fear of an early death has been the sustainer of religion for eons. Neoconservatives valued Judeo-Christian morality and opposed signs of godless moral laxity like homosexuality and the sexual revolution. However, although those who call themselves Christian are still common in the UK, church going and the Church of England has declined precipitously. Neoconservatives on balance fail to achieve many, if any, of their social policies. Finally, Roger Scruton said non-European mass immigration posed a threat to the UK's traditional culture. This idea helped lead to the British Nationality Act in 1981 that mainly only allowed those born in the UK to stay here long term. Neoconservatism has been controversial as it tends to go against our enlightened instincts on race, sex, religion. But we must remember that one day we too will be looked upon as unenlightened fucks for, say, transgender scepticism. Perhaps we should look back and think to ourselves, what do we now accept as progressive that we shouldn't have accepted 